，六周选后的政治新闻是不是看到有点腻了嘞？要不要换口味啊？要不要看美女啊？<笑>好，马上抬屏。最近你有 follow 大马版《人间芭比》马来美女玛莎的新闻吗？那今年七月的时候呢，在趁着芭比电影掀起的风潮，玛莎呢就甩一手一脱她的头巾，大方的晒出她粉红色亮丽的头发，配上典型的这个芭比套装，精致的轮廓加上大眼睛，活脱脱就是个大美人呢、啊。I think this is using the Different color of eyes again. <laughs> she looks like a Barbie. Mm -hmm. She's pretty. She's pretty. Mm -hmm. What else? She looks like a mix. Uh, beautiful. beautiful. Pretty. Mm -hmm. She looks like a sport person. Is she? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, the one that she. Yeah, she's a Barbie. Oh, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so. her. <laughs> Masita Masha. Ah, kenal tak? Ada baca berita tentang dia tak? Ah, ada. Ada. <laughs> tak baik cakap pasal orang. <laughs> Gambar dia okey je. Uh -huh. Tapi untuk kita nak describe lebih pasal dia tak baik lah tu je. Seperti pasal dia punya personal, uh, dia punya preferences. Uh, tapi you rasa dia cantik? Memang dia yeah, cantik. Dia cantik. <laughs> kan? uh, kenal tapi tak ambil tahu pasal dia. Daripada media sosial. Oh ni Masha. Masha Masita. Dia more to kontroversi yang dia buat lah. Daripada ah. wearing scarf dari si agama memang salah lah. Tapi apa kita nak boleh buat? Itu dah pilihan dia dan dia pun dah tunjuk kat orang. Sepatutnya tak bagus lah macam tu. Sepatutnya dia kena balik macam dulu balik lah. Pakai hmm. tudung lagi cantik lah. Hmm. Kalau sekarang ni buat tudung cantik tapi tak okey lah untuk Islam. Dia katakan sepatutnya pakai tudung. Kita doa yang terbaik lah untuk dia. Untuk komen tu macam uh, tak, tak patut. So hmm. kita harus positif lah untuk untuk dia lebih ke arah lebih baik lah. Kalau, kalau kata nak ubahkan dia so kita kena Ya, yeah, doakan dia lebih baik lah. Itu hmm. je. 这样的装扮对我们非穆斯林来说当然是赏心悦目的，可是对作为穆斯林的他来说却是灾难的开始。那这个举动呢，就引起了大批的穆斯林网民去攻击他，疯狂的对他恶言相向。那甚至有大批的粉丝表示非常的失望，可是他的 IG 账号追踪人数却是有增无减的。那玛莎是没有因此而退缩的、哦，她甚至再接再厉的晒出了一组穿无袖短裤、露腿、露手臂的打。打羽球照片，进一步挑战穆斯林的底线。那要看，当然是看留言的了。有人叫他下地狱，甚至问他：“你是不是把灵魂卖给了恶魔啊？有多恶毒就有多恶毒。”穆斯林女性一定要戴头巾的吗？那苹果派今天就来踩踩线，大胆上街问一问穆斯林关于戴头巾的敏感话题。不戴头巾真的是种罪吗？我觉得是，更多的是对那些人生气。你不可能是穆斯林，但是穆斯林也是有点说笑。但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，在别的方面，但是，As your preference to wear tudung or not, because it's your right to do that. It's not about something like you have to do, but it's a bad religion. It it must, but it's already is your, it's your own risk, it's yourself, it's your thing. It depends on her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's her. Uh, I mean, it's her right lah. But uh, actually, I think the netizen can leave the good comments. I mean, like because we're Muslim, right? By right. It shouldn't be okay to do like that, but mm -hmm. of course, everyone have their own perspective, their own rights. Uh, I mean, how they want to speak for it. So I think, I, I yeah, mm -hmm. it's be better that netizen is like just uh, say nicely lah. Yeah, better pray for her, mm -hmm. for her good. I think personally, wearing a hijab or not, it's her own uh, personal opinion. Yeah, it's a law uh, by Islam ways, but it actually depends on the person itself because. Only she knows what she wants to do with her life, right? So we can't judge anyone. Kita tak kisah. Tak kisah. Tapi yeah, um, yeah. dia kena terima lah. Yeah. Public punya view. Because uh. dia punya action. 
Hmm. Yeah. Tapi ada banyak orang yang kata dia mesti turun uh, itu apa neraka uh, oh, cakap-cakap itu yang memang ha, sangat tak baik ha, tapi you rasa yang semua tu komen okey tak? Media sosial ni dia bebas so everybody boleh komen apa dia nak. Tapi cuma itulah, ini pilihan dia, dia terpaksa accept whatever people punya opinion. Kalau dia nak think about people punya comment and then to change back to wearing scarf, it's up to her also. Hmm. So kalau dia nak continue with this, it's up to her. Maybe public not in control to make her changes lah. Hmm. Dia sini yang change herself. 我从部分的文章了解到，可兰金虽然有提到要遮羞体、戴头巾，但是并不是强制性的。所以戴头巾在我国到底是明文规定，还是群众压力下成为女穆斯林的标准穿着呢？ ada 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 dalam Al Quran ada dalam kitab Al Quran ini saya memang ada. Sebab buku agama ni macam-macam. Ada yang replikat. Sometimes orang pilih buku yang bukan daripada the valid source. So orang yang orang tulis balik and then buat dia punya opinion. Maybe that the book they read. Tapi actually kita ada buku yang valid. Itu lebih kepada menutup aurat lah untuk orang Islam. So as long as we are following what our God say. So lah. Kalau ikutkan dia mewajibkan untuk kita menutup aurat Tapi cara kita tutup aurat tu lain hmm. uh, So kalau kat Malaysia kita pakai tudung Negara lain mungkin dia cakap cara dia pakai lain Ada yang face Betul, mara. so itu adalah cara lain-lain jugalah Itu ha. sebab kita ikut pada agama ha, Menutup aurat, keluar-keluar sopan For our Muslim is wajib lah hmm. Untuk dia orang pakai semua Kiranya macam dosa lah Kalau hmm. kita orang tak pakai Nanti lambat lawan dia pun dia orang akan fikir sendiri hmm. macam mana Uh, bagi saya, it's not lah kata uh, okey ke tak, itu, itu pendirian masing-masing. Tapi sebagai seorang yang beragama, kita kena jalankan tanggungjawab kita lah. It is compulsory actually, it is compulsory for our uh, religion. Yeah. But yeah, like like we said that we we live in Malaysia, so like um, I don't say that what we doing is right. Actually, what we're doing is totally wrong. Try. Day by day, we try to improve ourselves. Yeah. So like maybe soon we will be a better Muslim. Uh, who mm -hmm. knows? Uh, so that's why that the to leave the good comments is actually helps people to improve yeah. lah. Mm. Better than the negative mm. comment, right? All I know is wearing tudung is actually one way for the women to be avoid. I mean, in a in a situation to be avoided from having. This, you know, bad looks uh, from the guy. So, you know, when when someone has the lust, you know, to to actually rape or to even catcalling, right? Because that someone is sexy or maybe that someone is very appealing to them. Our right is uh, where we have to cover by wearing tudung to make sure that the guy will only look okay. She's wearing tudung, and then that's it. I'm not going to disturb her. Something like that, or she's not approachable. Some say that uh, wearing tudung is actually <coughs> kind of a sign or a symbol that you bow down to the patriarchy. Do you agree? Not really, because in above all, mm -hmm. uh, wearing tudung is just one good thing that for you to secure yourself. That's it. That's no any anything related patriarchy or anything. 可是随着时代的演变，不少新时代女穆斯林都不戴头巾了。其中不乏我们都很熟悉的名字，像是前首相夫人罗斯玛和顿西蒂哈斯玛，首相署法律事务部长阿莎丽娜，柔佛王室公主阿米娜，还有铁娘子拉菲达等人，都是没有戴头巾的习惯。所以他们都做了错误示范。Tapi kalau ikut dari segi dari segi Islam, suami dia maybe tak bagi nasihat yang betul. Tapi itu kehidupan mereka. Tapi macam Rosma, maybe sebab dia maybe dia banyak duit dalam rumah saja tak tanya bagi tu dia luar kena pakai. Luar dah. Sebab personal preferences. Itu. So ini memang satu pilihan ke? Bukanlah satu pilihan. Memang ada ikut pada ajaran macam you juga. You ada you punya agama sendiri. Kita pun ada agama sendiri. So tak semestinya agama cakap seratus peratus ikut. So itu tu pulang kepada masing-masing dengan dia dengan Tuhan. Kita tak ada hak untuk nak cakap lebih pasal apa yang dipercaya, pasal apa yang dibuat, pasal apa yang diikut. Nowadays kita ikut zaman. Like you know kita macam okay we feel like we want to be more fashionista. Like there's so many influence. Yeah, there's so many influence out there. So like we have to be strong. Yeah, we just be yourself. Like Uh, and then like on and off depends on the situation also. If we go to masjid or everything, we we need to wear a proper and wear tudung of course. I once like uh, wear a tudung at first. So but I think because I I don't want to show the bad, I mean the positive side of me, the the bad side of me by wearing a tudung. But my attitude is not good. So I don't want that people will misunderstood on that like the other religion or the other uh, nila. So I decided to okay, I just be myself first and I'll try to improve uh, day by day by. You know, be a good, and then we 
got to know like how we really want to be a good Muslim. So yeah, maybe one day. I can see you are not very into Dong. Yeah. So. <laughs> Why? Why? What's the reason behind? <clears throat> uh, have you talked with your family or you just decide yourself? Uh, actually, my family doesn't have anything to do with my decision. Uh, they always encourage me to do good. Uh, you know, to wear to Dong. But it's just that maybe I'm just not ready yet. That, that, that's the only reason. It, it is compulsory, yes, is yes. Even guys have a right that they have to cover, which means it's between the tummy and the bottom part. But for, for women, we have from from top to bottom. It, it's because how women look with the hair. Beautiful, right? So that's <laughs> one of the things that attract uh, those guys, that attract uh, some bad things that might have to uh, influence us or to to uh, you know, to give someone to an, an action towards us. I, I don't agree. It, it's not something like that. But yes, in, in Quran, we have to cover. Mostly it's because of the safety reason. Even guys, they have to look down when they are seeing or looking at women without tudung. They have to uh, lower down their, uh, their, their grace, their gaze. Yeah. Not only women, the guys, will, the guys have their own responsibility as well. But you know, guys won't agree with me. <laughs> 看到这里，精明的观众们听出来了吗？戴不戴头巾说的是女性的自主权，可是宗教角度而言，品德端正的女性就会戴头巾，这算是有让女性选择的空间吗？那么对男穆斯林来说，又会怎么看待女伴戴不戴头巾这件事呢？ mana apa, apa yang uh, ditanggungjawabkan oleh seorang orang Muslim lah anak perempuan pun sama kalau kecil lagi dia masih belum tahu lagi tentang tentang aurat tentang hmm. apa benda uh, our, kita punya nafsu ke macam mana itu itu dia orang tak boleh rasa lagi so hmm. bila dia orang dah besar baru kita kan kena wajibkan sebagai seorang lelaki in uh, our Muslim dia orang kena mimbing keluarga dia orang macam mana dia mimbing tu ikut agama lah sangat-sangat penting lah untuk hmm. orang Islam sangat penting lah sebab tutup aurat hmm. tapi kalau orang kalau macam kita kita ni kita boleh kita tegur lah, kita test tegur bagi nasihat supaya mereka berubah lah So abang memang pun tak boleh terima lah kalau ke friend ke ataupun adik ke tak pakai tudung Abang memang pantau? <laughs> tak lah boleh je terima <laughs> tapi kita cakap lah kita nasihat dia supaya dia boleh pakai tudung lah Supaya dia berubah sampai lah dia pakai tudung 随着女权意识的觉醒，世界各地的女穆斯林开始掀起反对戴头巾的抗争。那去年，伊朗爆发一宗二十岁年轻女性因为违反条规被逮捕后死亡的案件，更爆发了无数女穆斯林上街游行。可惜，伊朗情况并没有因此而改变，反而在今年祭出更严厉的措施，像是架设监视器、安插道德警察、取缔违法者等等。受访者又是怎么看呢？因为政治因素而日趋保守的我国，会否成为下一个伊朗？呃，不然你那边讲，不离过。Ada CCTV, ada polis moral. perlu itu bukan hmm. our cara bukanlah cara kita hmm. sebagai seorang beragama kita hmm. tak boleh berkeras dengan orang itu semua agama untuk, untuk apa tunjukkan untuk untuk mengarah hmm. ke orang kebaikan kan betul hmm. bukan bukanlah kita kena paksa oh kau kena pakai kau kena pakai kau nak ikut ini ini salah macam ni sampai bunuh orang it's not it's not it's not our punya method untuk 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 mengubah dia orang bukanlah ha. macam tu kita orang kita kita ada Ah uh, undang-undang kita uh, Iran dengan Malaysia tak sama. Hmm. So fahaman kita kita ada Islam yang kita ada Islam yang daripada mufti kita dah cakap kena follow. Tapi maybe Iran ni dia punya pembawakan agama Islam tu kita tak tahu macam mana. Maybe dia orang ekstrem. Can be apa propose tapi I don't think Malaysia akan buat bencen-bencen tulah. Sebab kita punya politik pun bukannya stable sangat pun. <laughs> If uh, Malaysia was about to implement one of this, uh, I think that They have to be fair to the guys as well. If you want to put a rule, a compulsory rule, to all women, then why men should be um, ex ex an exceptional? It 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 has to be both ways because rapists are among guys, right? Mostly people will blame the girls because they are wearing sexy, yeah. wearing tudung or wearing not wearing tudung. It still happens. So this is attire is not one of the uh, main reason why. Uh, it's the mentality. It's the way you are as a person. Hmm. 
how how you were raised in this world. 那在伊斯兰教育上呢，女穆斯林不戴头巾的确是一种罪过，而大部分的受访男穆斯林呢，也是趋向保守的。他们认为女性就是应该要多多熬热才叫做得体。可是如果作为一个人，难道就没有为自己身体做选择的权利吗？一个人的人格真的可以因为一块布而被定义吗？其中一名受访者的回应呢，让我蛮感动的。他说，在一些特定场合上，如果涉及到他家人的名义的话，他会毫不犹豫的带。头巾。除此之外，他会选择做回他自己。他说，如果他的人生要因此而注定受罪的话，他也宁可自己承担。So far,、uh, I am blessed to live in Malaysia because there are some things that we can't do in other countries, but we are allowed to do here, even though religion,、uh, religion or not, not by religion, I am still blessed. But it's just that. If I want to live my life the way I am now, it's、uh, it's safe to say that I just have to、uh, just ignore whatever people are gonna say about me. That's the only reason that you have to move on with your life because otherwise you're gonna stuck and I think you're gonna lose yourself of becoming what they want instead of what you want. But most of all, respect your family.、Uh, I'm not saying that my my family 100% support me the way I am, <laughs>、um, but、um, they have the Because family, they have the empathy, they have the、uh, faith that I will change one day. So that's、uh, the only thing that I'm grateful for for them. Because this is our choice, this is what we wanted.、Mm. So I think the person who actually need to be、uh, questioned is like ourselves. 恭喜你看完整支影片，跟我们频道一样那么 good。不想要错过 good show 下一集精彩内容，记得 subscribe 我们的 YouTube、IG 和 Facebook， 还有打开小铃铛，当当当当。